how does this work again? Welcome to the weekly wrap up. Our weekly show where we look at the week that was and bring it right back to you in our own little special way. And if you don't know by now, this is the Whistling Orangutan YouTube channel. And the Whistling Orangutan means absolutely nothing. But you know what does mean something? A like and a subscribe from you. We'd really appreciate that here at the channel. Now let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. It's been a long, long time. I think six to seven months. That was like our last video. Um, and look, I had to stop making videos because, yo, just life got too busy. It just got too busy. School got too hectic. So I had to take a break. But we're back now. No more school. We're back. But we're not going to keep doing things the same way we were doing them, right? Like, in, in that six, seven months, that year, like, a lot of things changed, you know? There was a war in Russia. You know, Cyril survived. You know, um, I, I've matured as a person, you know, and I think because I have matured, this channel needs to mature with me. So from this point onwards, they aren't going to be like, it's not going to be like a silly show anymore. I want this to be a little bit more serious because I'm a more serious person. And this show needs to be re representative of what is happening in society. Like what is out there? And I want to bring that to you guys. And just let's be serious about things, guys. Like, things are serious and I'm going to be a more serious person. And if you don't like it, it's okay. I understand. But we have to be more serious because life is serious. This is not a game. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the new tonality of the show. And I hope you guys stick around. <clears throat> so, let's, let's, let's just get into it. And in our first story of the week... A woman was seen twerking on top of security guards while a man was getting arrested outside of a Kansas City Chiefs game. Really? We couldn't even make it past one story? Twerking on a security guard? Sec what is happening? <sighs> Let's check out that video. You see that right there? That just means that 2023 is going to be a great year. And let's be honest. I don't think the security guard minded, right? You see right there? You see right there? That's a wife. This past week, author Susan Meachin came back to life after she revealed that she had actually faked her suicide two years ago. She will be releasing a new book entitled Matthew 28 verses 1 to 10. That's a joke for all my Christians out there. Because Matthew 28 1 to 10 tells the story of Jesus' resurrection. And then this lady came, came back from the dead. And, and now she's alive. So the, so, so the book is going to be called Matthew 28. 1 to 10 because of the, the, res, the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus Christ. It's a good joke. 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 In People News, it's been announced that in the next three months, India will overtake China as the country with the largest population on earth when its population hits 1.42 billion people in April. Billion with a B. Can anybody say Kama Sutra? Ah. The f*** was that? Billion. In Liaonan province, China, at a zoo, a lion was seen trying to eat a Chinese toddler through the glass barrier. Let's check out that video. <coughs> 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 
这好像是录的。嗯，哎呀，行啊，可以啊，照着了，不用进了。<笑>啊！你看这母狮子眼睛，眼睛直了。你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你To be honest with you, I don't even know why this video is a thing. Everybody knows on Wednesdays we have Chinese. In car news, this past week, the Taliban in Afghanistan revealed their first ever supercar. The Taliban says that the car is so good that it's one to die for. In look at this dick news. Gallery owner Collier Gwenwas, weird name. Collier Gwenwas was seen spraying a homeless woman with water to get her to move, although he insists that he was trying to help her. Well, we insist on saying one thing: What a dick! What a dick! In holy shit! News: A customer shot a robber in a restaurant and killed him. Although it later turned out that the robber was actually carrying a fake gun, the customer shot the robber eight times in the back and then once in the head to really make sure that he was dead. This all happened at Buns and Guns Restaurant, where we serve the buns and you. Bring the guns, and yes, you are right. This did happen in America. A married, fired cop admitted this past week that she has slept with many of her colleagues, but also said that this is okay because she's in an open relationship. Her husband then turned around and said that he was surprised to hear all of this and that he was shocked to find this out. Apparently, all the sex happened at Bums and Guns Restaurant, where the cops bring the guns and serve the bums. And yes, you are right. This did happen in America. This past week, a couple in Mexico claimed to have seen an unidentified flying object above a volcano. An 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 unidentified object. Is that South African President Cyril Ramaphosa? Cyril, who the f are you? And now it's time for a new segment called "Things I Don't Care About." This is Prince Harry. In 2007, Prince Harry slapped one of his own security guards, named Billy the Rock, after a night of heavy drinking. Prince Harry and the English media want us to really care about this, but I don't, and neither should you. Eskom just increased electricity by 18.2 percent. Now that's worth caring about. But this, nah. This I don't care about. This has been things that I don't care about. In mm, news, Taylor Robertson, a 27-year-old man from North Carolina, lost 154 pounds in nine months after he stopped drinking a dozen cans of Pepsi a day. Moral of the story: If you want a six-pack, don't drink Pepsi. This message has been brought to you by Coca-Cola, because who the f would ever want a Pepsi? In medical news, Dr. Ezekiel Emanuel, who's 65 years old, who is the White House oncologist and the architect behind Obamacare, says that when he turns 75 years old, he will stop taking all medication so that he can die quickly and not be a burden to society. Which brings us to a new segment that we are calling stand-up comedy with the whistling orangutan. Give me a sec.
Hey, 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 good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Uh, my name is uh, Kundi, and uh, wow, you, you, you guys, this, this is a hot crowd. You guys are looking great. Look at you. Look at you. You came here with a white girl. Congratulations, sir. Um, but anyways, um, have you guys been watching the news? Have you guys been watching the news lately? I, I've been watching the news, and uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but there's a doctor in the United States of America who says that when he turns 75, he is going to stop taking all medicine. Like he's just gonna stop. You know why? Because he says, if he gets sick, like a Jehovah's Witness, he will just die. He will stop taking medicine, because when he gets sick at 75, he will just die. No medicine. And the reason he says he'll take no medicine is because he says that he doesn't want to be a burden to anyone. And I was like, wow. Wow, I like that. No, seriously, I like that. You know, like, this is a man who cares about society. If he gets sick and he's old, he dies. You know what? This got me thinking. What would it take for me to be like, take me now, Jesus. I am tired, tired of living. What would it take? And for me, it's very simple. It's very simple. If I cannot wipe my own ass, that's it, I'm done. Can't do it. I cannot be living without being able to wipe my own ass. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And no, 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 no. I hear some of you are thinking, probably thinking out there, oh, you can get someone to help you. No, I couldn't do that. Could you imagine? I'm sitting in the toilet, then I'm like, Trivina! Trivina! I've got ish kuborundu. No, guys. No. And then that time I ate corn yesterday. Also, why doesn't corn just like digest properly? Like, why do we eat the stuff and it just comes out the same way it looked like coming in? I swear, I chewed you properly. Why do you still come? Anyway, I, I digress. Listen, guys, for, for me, it's, it's very simple. If I cannot wipe my ass, I'm done. Take me out. I will kill myself. Seriously, I will kill myself if I got shit ass. And you know what? It's not like you can walk around without wiping your ass. Because then you just got itchy ass. And then you just walking around the whole day. Listen. So kill me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have been a great crowd. Referee Sam Perkis was taken off on a stretcher after being hit by a ball during a League 2 match between Swindon and Grimsby. After he recovered, he gave the ball a red card and awarded Argentina a penalty. You know, be because the World Cup was rigged for Messi to win. So he gave Argentina a penalty. That's a joke for my football fans. If you don't get it, it's okay. The joke's not for you. And in our final story of the week, the trailer for the movie Babylon, starring Margot Robbie and Brad Pitt, has been criticized for glamorizing the use of cocaine by making the Paramount iconic, the iconic Paramount logo disappear to the sound of someone snorting. Let's check out that video. Really? That's it? Honestly, I don't see what the big deal is. It's just a movie, guys. Stop taking things so seriously. And that brings us to the end of this week's episode. Wait. Actually, before I go, as I record this, it's actually... My birthday! It's cake flour, guys. It's not, it's not. I don't do cocaine. A lot. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't do it at all. It's my birthday. So, I'm gonna sing myself happy birthday. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Sol, la, 
ti va la la do. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear orangutan. Happy birthday to here it comes you. See you next week, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this cake. Bye. And it's from Woolworths, so you know it's good. Bye. <laughs> I fucking don't remember how this goes. What? How does how does it go? Right back to you. <sighs> <laughs> you think, welcome, welcome to, to the week to wrap up. Our week, our, our week to show we look the week that was, and we're going right back to you in our own little special way. And if you don't know by now, this is the Wisdom Orangutan YouTube channel, and the Wisdom Orangutan means absolutely nothing. But you know what does mean something? A like and a subscribe from you. We really appreciate that. Yeah, like the show. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. And in our okay, 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 okay.